Hello guys, and welcome to Mets Beamer. Today I decided to put a video together based on the BMW engine called the M13. I don't know everything about the M13, so if you would like to add your own experiences or problems with the M13, um, mesh, just mesh it down below and I'll add it down in the description box, along with your username. It's important we all share our stories to gain more knowledge. The M13 engine was built between BMW and the big French group called PSA. PSA has several brands in its arsenal, such as Citroën, DS Automobiles, Opel, Peugeot, Vauxhall Motors and some other companies. BMW started using this engine in 2011 in many of its small BMWs. It was used in the earlier F20s and F30s. The 114i, the 116i, the 116i ED, the 118i, the 120i, the 316i and the 320ED. It replaced so many BMW engines such as the N43 B16, the N43 B20, the N45 B16, the N45 B20S, the N46 B18 and the N46 B20. Now we know what cars had the N13. What type of engine is it? Well, it's an inline four-cylinder lump, which is turbocharged. I believe it was BMW's first turbocharged four-cylinder engine since the old 70 2002 Turbo. But apparently, that thing was a beast of a car. The Turbo on this car is a Garrett MGT 1549ZDL. The engine block is also made from aluminium which helps reduce the weight, and it has dual overhead camshafts with four valves per cylinder, so that's 16 valves in total. As I mentioned earlier, BMW has used this on a few of its models, which means that the same engine has a few different power outputs. I shall put a table up on the screen now, to save your time. Here is a list of known faults with the N13. If any of you know any more faults, which I have missed out or new ones that are developing over the years, I will type them up in the description box. Vibration. Some M13 engines are known to vibrate. This could be to the fact that it could have dirty fuel injectors. These cars need a good spanking every so often to keep the system clean. I also recommend that you use the best fuel you can because they are a bit fussy about what they drink. Uneven idle. If your M13 engine is running uneven, then there is a chance that the idle control valve or the throttle flap body are dirty. A good clean can resolve this. Thirsty for fuel. Sometimes these engines can be very thirsty when it comes to petrol. If this is the case, check the airflow meter. Thirsty for oil. Make sure that the car isn't leaking any oil or burning it. I have heard that they can leak around the Vanos area. Look at the exhaust to check to see the colour of this smoke. If the smoke is blue, it means that it could be burning some oil somewhere. Timing chains. I've heard somewhere, but I'm not sure how accurate it is, that the timing chains on these engines can break, though it's not as common as some of the other more troublesome engines. The chain guys on this engine are much better, but the sprockets can rear. The cooling system. The cooling system on this variant needs to be kept an eye on. My car has done less than 40,000 kilometers and it was changed at about 25,000 kilometers. A tinny rattle on startup. If when you start the car up and you hear what sounds like loose metal type kind of thing, like a, like a heat shield, but it goes away after 30 seconds, then there is a chance that it could be the waste gate rattle. I shall leave a link down below of what it sounds like from another YouTube channel. At the moment, my car is not doing this noise. BMW says that this sound is normal, but I must admit it is not a pleasant noise, especially on a BMW. There is a clever guy somewhere who sorted out this noise by utilising a Volkswagen clip. I saw this method along with its DIY on some BMW forum. I shall try and find that link for you and stick it down below. Tuning the engine. These engines are very tunable, mainly because the smaller engines like the 114i and I think the 116i were detuned. So a slow 101 brake horsepower 114i 
can easily produce about 225 horsepower. Michael from Beamer Belgium can explain how he did it. I shall leave a link for his channel down below. Which oil should I use? Well, I don't want to go into too much detail because it's a bit complicated um, and it's always best to go with your BMW dealer's advice. But I would only use the 5W30 or 5W40. And now I only use the BMW brand. If you have any advice on which engine oil, viscosity, whatever, um, you recommend, and just please comment down below. I guess it can vary from country to country. When it comes to changing the oil, I would personally change the oil every seven to 10,000 kilometers or four and a half thousand to 6,000 miles. If you keep on top of your oil changes, then there is less chance of your engine going wrong. I've also read that these engines may use up to 0 0.7 litres per 1,000 kilometres or 1 quart per 850 miles. If you have any other questions about this engine, please comment down below and I shall try and research for you. Thank you and take care.